Hey, this is Mike. I just want to show you a new 2014 Jeep Cherokee in white. This is a limited, so it has a lot of options to go over. Um, one of the options is a remote start. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Now it does have the proximity key. So I'll show you that in a second. But check out those wheels. It's got the like a polished aluminum look. Let's go around this way. You can see it has the projector headlights right here. There's your headlight, and your side markers are there, and your fog lights are down here. Some people get those top lights confused with the headlights, but it's understandable. Now when I said the proximity key, I meant that I can have my key in the pocket and just touch the handle here and it unlocks. Open up the door, I can get in, use the vehicle, use the push push button to start it up, use the vehicle, just part the vehicle, come back, push the button, relock it. So that's the whole idea of the proximity key. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. So with the with the key here. Again, I'm going to use this to open up the back here. Cuz it does have an automatic lift gate. So back here you've got this sunshade. Move that forward. So we've got like a subwoofer back here. We've got like a storage compartment. There's a power supply. Under here is a more storage underneath this um, this, this floor. This comes up, and then you've got your spare tire and tools and stuff under here. Now the spare tire is a option it's an option in this vehicle so make sure that if you purchase one that you uh, you know if you want a spare tire you have to ask for it or make sure it's it's included with the vehicle this one has it so there you go close this up now if I want to close the tailgate I can push this button instead of using the key Now it does have the backup camera as you can see the little lens right there it has the dual exhaust take a briefly look at the I don't know if you can see just kind of give you an idea of what the window sticker looks like now you can get this with a four cylinder or the V6 this one has the V6 of course it does have the 9 speed transmission which is kind of the staple for this vehicle these seats go forward and back here in the back and they also fold down so that way you can you know have more cargo space there's a cup holder slash armrest you do have a, a, a power supply there it's a AC adapter, 150 watts. Nice leather seats, two-tone. Kind of has a sporty look to it. Got heated side mirrors. Here's the inside of the driver's door. It's got power windows. Uh, your side mirror controls, door locks, presets for your power driver seat. The driver seat's powered, the passenger seat is not powered. You have a bottle holder little pockets and stuff everywhere there's your power seat adjustments with lumbar support and you can adjust it up and down in and out for the lumbar 
do have automatic headlights. There's another button to open up the trunk. You got this little pocket right here. Go ahead and hop in. One of the best things about this vehicle to me is the comfort of the seats. Just the, the leg room, headroom, and the seats are very comfortable. Now since I use a remote start, it's telling me remote start active, push start button. So I still have to push this button right here to turn everything on to where I can drive the vehicle. See it has a, some regular gauges here and there and also has the digital gauges here in the middle which we'll get that in a sec we'll get to that in a second I'm gonna start off with the steering wheel it's leather wrapped stitched very comfortable um, has some good thickness to it and looks pretty sharp to me you do have cruise control settings here right here would be your automatic parking like parallel parking and perpendicular parking controls which is kind of neat but this one doesn't have it um, I guess uh, that's kind of like a, a luxury an extra luxury thing so the limited is it doesn't come standard with that so your cruise control settings are here now put the radio on a certain station on the right hand side of the right, right here on the back of the steering wheel I don't know if you can see back there but on the back of the steering wheel I can adjust the volume On this, on the back side of this side of the steering wheel, I can adjust, change the stations. So, I have some controls on the back of the steering wheel as well as the front. Now on this side, you can see where it says OK and all these arrows. That corresponds to this menu here in the middle of the steering wheel. So like right now it's set to speedometer, but I can scroll through and see some detailed information like the tire pressure in each tire. Um, the fuel economy in real time while I'm driving, different trips, see what's going on on the audio, any stored messages. I can set up and customize this screen and go back to speedometer. Now on the top left you see it says 70 degrees, that's outside. Southwest is the direction the vehicle is facing as a compass. And then you've got your temperature and your um, fuel gauges there at the bottom. Down here we've got your voice recognition. You can actually push this button and, and um, it recognize, the car will recognize certain commands like calling somebody, turning to a certain station, stuff like that. You can call somebody, once your Bluetooth phone is paired with this system, you can call somebody by pushing this button or you can answer the phone by pushing this button and hang up with that one. There's your windshield wiper controls and uh, there's your headlight controls turn signal now let's move on over here this little compartment is up here put some stuff but here's your um, 8.4 uh, you connect 8.4 this does have navigation and it does have satellite radio and when you buy a new vehicle it does come with one year of satellite radio for free it does have some options as far as connecting a uh, YouTube, Bluetooth, of course, like I was talking about, but also has a U USB port, auxiliary input, SD card. And those are down here. Really convenient, really easy to get to. And go to controls. This is where you can control your heated and ventilated seats here in the front on both driver and passenger. It also has a heated steering wheel. You, you can turn your auto dim rear view mirror on or off there go into climate now you do have some buttons down here for some of this stuff like your volume and your tuning your radio and your temperature and stuff like that but you also have those controls here on the screen and a little bit extra here's your navigation you can actually put in addresses and go to certain addresses stuff like that you can view the map just to kind of see what it looks like and you see I'm facing a certain you know southwest this has the compass up there at the top as well as the temperature outside and the temperature inside so 
So like when I adjust this temp button down here, it changes this number up here. Time is right there. Here's where I put my phone when I pair it. Uh, my contacts and all that stuff will be here and it'll tell me my battery life and signal strength and all that stuff. Now here's the applications, um, your apps basically, on your Uconnect. Now it has lots of different things you can do with it. Some of them are, are paid prescription, subscription, sorry, uh, services. Now like you have a Wi-Fi hotspot, um, it does have Sirius XM Travel Link, which is pretty cool because you can check movie prices or movies and weather, fuel prices, uh, sports, stuff like that. So moving on down here, this is kind of like some redundant button, buttons that, for your convenience, in case you have something on the screen that you don't want to get out of, you've got this um, these buttons here, your essentials. There's your input controls as well as the power supply. You do have a pocket there there there's your shifter now one thing that I want to uh, show two things on the shifter I'll show you first when I put it in reverse the backup camera shows up here on the screen and as I turn the steering wheel you can see the lines will move and that gives you an estimated trajectory of your vehicle while you're backing up another thing is when I put it on and drive like that that's just regular drive now when I move the shifter over, that is an auto shift, auto stick. Basically I can change the gears manually. And you can see what gear you're in right here on the on the display there. So if you put it down in there and you're driving and it doesn't change gears, that's why, because you got it in the auto stick mode. So you want to make sure it's in the drive. It does have an electric parking brake which is here so if the little light on is on right there let me put, go ahead and turn it on then you can see I don't know if you can see the light but that tells me that the, the parking brake's on so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off there's cup holders little pencil pocket there a pen pocket armrest is here this lifts up and you've got a like a shallow pocket there I guess to put like a small tablet or a phone or something or some just some small stuff in here you have a larger pocket you also have a place to put coins a, um, a power supply as and also a USB charger there's your glove compartment it does have a little light in there there's your auto dim rear view mirror you've got some lights here there's your little buttons to turn the lights on here's a place to put your sunglasses right here and this instead of foam padding on the inside it's kind of rubberized garage, garage door controls are here on the visor you do have lights and a mirror same thing on that side give you an idea what it looks like back here There's a Jeep there in the seat. Really comfortable seats, you can check it out. Now some of them have a storage system underneath the seat. That's an option. But let's go look underneath the hood. So this has a 3.2 liter, it's based on a 3.6 liter Pentastar, it's just a little bit scaled down, 3.2 liter, it does have variable valve timing. Everything in yellow, it's color coded, everything in yellow is stuff that you would check normally on your own. Alright, there you have it. If you have any questions, my phone number and email address will be in the description. See you next time.